Good morning. It's Friday, uh, April 24th, and uh, we're about through fourth week of uh, distance learning, and we're um, doing well. I think most of you are getting on board and on track. Uh, some of you are still struggling a little bit, but for the most part, most everybody is doing what they need to be doing. Um, we're going to read the story from your Bible this morning. Um, it's going to be about uh, Stephen and Stephen's uh, death, and we've actually heard about this, read about this recently, not too, all, not too long ago, and so I'm going to read this to you, though, again. It's a good reminder for us. As the number of disciples continue to increase, by the way, it's entitled, Lord, do not hold this against them. As the number of disciples continue to increase, the apostles could not take care of everyone's spiritual and physical needs. The apostles called together the assembly of disciples and told them to choose seven men to help serve the people while the apostles continued to pray and preach the gospel. They were to choose honest men who were full of the Holy Spirit. And with The disciples were glad to do this and chose Stephen, Philip, Prochorus, uh, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas. They brought these men to the apostles who prayed for them and laid their hands on them. God's word spread more and more, and the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased. Even a large number of priests believed and became disciples of Christ. Stephen, one of the chosen men, was full of faith, power, and the Holy Spirit, and he did great miracles among the people. Certain religious leaders debated with Stephen, but they could not oppose the wisdom and the spirit by which he spoke. The religious leaders decided to find false witnesses who would speak against Stephen. These false witnesses lied, saying that they had heard Stephen blaspheme or curse Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, and they all caught Stephen and took him to the council. In the presence of the council... The liars accused Stephen, saying, This man has spoken blasphemous words against his holy place and the law. We even heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth would destroy the temple and change the customs that Moses gave to us. When the council looked at Stephen, his face appeared like the face of an angel. The high priest asked him, Is what these men are saying true? Stephen answered by preaching to the council. He reminded them of how God told Abraham to leave his country to go to the place God would show him. God promised to give Abraham and his descendants land, even though at that time Abraham didn't even have a child. God said that Abraham's descendants would wander as pilgrims in a strange land and that they would suffer for 400 years. Yet God promised that he would judge the nation that held his people in bondage, and God would bring his people back to the land that he had promised to them. Stephen reminded the council that God was with Joseph and delivered him and promoted him to the office of governor of Egypt. God restored Joseph to his father by bringing a famine on the land. Centuries later, when a new king who did not know about Joseph came to power in Egypt, the king, that king treated the Israelites cruelly and commanded that their newborn male infants be killed. Moses, adopted by Pharaoh's daughter, tried to defend his people. The Israelites didn't respect his leadership, and fearing for his life, Moses ran away to the wilderness. Forty years later, the Lord sent Moses back to Egypt to deliver the Israelites. Stephen repeated what Moses had said, that God would raise up a prophet from the Israelites who would be like Moses and that people would listen to him. But not all the Israelites submitted to God. Some Israelites began to worship false gods while Moses was up on the mountain receiving the Ten Commandments. Stephen accused the council of also rejecting God. You are stiff-necked and act as though you don't know God. You resist the Holy Spirit just as your ancestors did, Stephen continued. Then he accused them, of betraying and murdering their Messiah who was sent by God. Stephen's audience was filled with fury, but Stephen was full of the Holy Spirit. When he looked up, he could see into heaven. He saw God's glory and Jesus standing on God's right hand. Stephen told the council what he saw, and they shouted and closed their ears. They grabbed Stephen and took him outside the city. After laying down their outer garments at the feet of a man named Saul, they stoned Stephen. Stephen called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He knelt down, and right before he died, he said, Lord, do not hold this sin against these men. It's a pretty uh, um, interesting um, story there. Um, this really brought uh, the disciples to the point where they started to scatter and started to preach the gospel. Oh, excuse me. And so... Um, well, why was Stephen brought before the council? Because he was preaching. He's doing miracles now. He's doing good. He's doing the right thing. And they had to have false witnesses come uh, to destroy him. It, it sort of reminds me of the book that we read um, of uh, Forbidden Gates. And the end there, what happened, and that caused the scattering and even of uh, Nathan, who is the main character in the story, 
end up Nathan's dad, who became a believer, um, that they were um, scattered, they had to leave quickly with the help of a boy who was not even a Jew, who was um, saved because of Nathan's willingness to bring him into the temple area that he wasn't allowed to be. So 217, 218 are your worksheets, and I hope that you have a great weekend. Don't forget to take your memory verse quiz today. Uh, That is today that you're supposed to do it, so don't forget to do that, and either send me a picture of it or put it in your envelope. Thank you very much. Have a good day.